show them on TV, alright, we're having some fun, we're having a ball, tune in, this is not sponsored by anybody, which is me and my beautiful face, hope you guys are having a good time, and uh, yeah, get that mochi, get that motherfucking mochi, now, let's tune into today's activities, shall we? Ever wonder what it would be like if the world of Digimon collided with the sun-soaked sands of your favorite beach? Picture this. A universe where digital monsters and beachside romance intertwine in a narrative that's as unexpected as it is captivating. Welcome to our exploration of a unique blend of Digimon adventures and beach flirting. In the heart of a bustling city, a group of friends find themselves engrossed in the world of Digimon, a universe filled with digital monsters. Each of them has a partner Digimon, a loyal companion in their digital adventures. But what if these adventures extended beyond the digital realm? Imagine a sunny day at the beach, where the scent of the ocean fills the air and the sand is warm beneath your feet. Our group of Digimon trainers decide to swap their usual cityscape for this coastal paradise. They're not just here for the waves and sun, but also to test their social skills in the real world with real people. The first of our trainers, Matt, is a cool, collected character with a Gabumon by his side. He's always been a bit of a mysterious figure amongst his friends, but today he decides to try something new. He spots a girl a few yards away, engrossed in her book. Gathering up his courage, he walks over to her, his Gabumon trailing behind him. He starts a conversation about her book, engaging her with his wit and charm. Meanwhile, Tai, with his Agumon, is having his own adventure. A group of girls are playing volleyball nearby, and Ty decides to join in. His energy and enthusiasm are infectious, and soon he finds himself the center of attention, his Agumon cheering him on from the sidelines. As the day rolls on, each of our trainers find their own ways to engage and interact, their Digimon companions providing moral support and occasionally joining in the fun, from Sora and her Bioman chatting with a group of sunbathers, to Izzy and his Tentamon offering tech support to a girl struggling with her portable speaker. Each experience is unique and memorable, but as the sun begins to set, our trainers realize something important. The skills they've honed in the digital world, courage, friendship, knowledge, these aren't just useful in their adventures with Digimon. They're also key in navigating the real world, in building connections with people, and yes, even in flirting at the beach. In the end, it's not just about Digimon or beach flirting. It's about the intersection of these two worlds, the lessons learned and the experiences gained. It's about understanding that the skills you learn in one area of your life can often be applied in another in ways you might never expect. So next time you find yourself in a new situation, remember our Digimon trainers and their beachside escapades. Be bold, be brave, and embrace every new experience with open arms. After all, life is an adventure, whether you're battling digital monsters or flirting at the beach. And this has been brought to you by Shoutmon TV. Yeah, that's the bullshit, huh? Yeah, Digimon flirting at the beach. Yup, some bullshit TV. But hey, gotta love it, right? But see you around. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace. Put you